Hello AI chat bot. Do you know how to help me make a mission for DCS World? I'm sure many of you have seen a load of these videos, as sick as seeing them by now. But I just tried something different here and check this out. Asking the AI if it knows about the game DCS. Digital Combat Simulator, developed by Eagle Dynamics. Da 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 da, exactly. So it knows what we're on about. Okay. Of course, those of you unfamiliar with this, the AI's ability to follow a conversation. So check this out. So it knows we're talking about DCS. I want to create a mission for this game do you understand and again the do you understand bit is you're asking it a question but then you're asking it do you understand the question that i'm asking you and this basically forces the oh, force is the right word but it basically causes the ai uh to not just think it knows what you're on about but is first of all going to confirm it knows what you're on about and it does that by elaborating on the answer a little bit There we go. So it understands you want to create a mission for DCS. Uh, DCS is a highly customizable game. Okay, great. Now, I don't have the premium version of this, so sometimes it types a little slower. That's fine. But we can see it's on board there, so I'll just tell it to stop responding. Okay. What language is used to script in the mission editor? And of course, if you're anything like me, scripting for DCS World is like, just a little bit too far. I know the basics of the mission editor. I've done a whole bunch of tutorials on that stuff. Had some fantastic feedback on it. This is going to help take you to the next level. So here we go. The scripting language used in DCS mission editor is Lua. Lua is a lightweight and fast scripting language commonly used in game development, blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. So the thing knows what we're talking about. What scripting in the editor is and how to do it okay so let's ask it now for help with a specific script again in ordinary language so imagine this i need help with an idea for a script okay there will be two teams in dcs world a red and a blue team the red will be russians the blue will be americans do you understand it uh hang on i best just add in there as well there'll be two teams in dcs world multiplayer mission see if it gets that yeah i understand you and help with an idea for a script uh with two teams right so okay great okay i need the script to keep score on how many points each of the two teams has the points will be awarded according to how many aircraft each team shoots down do you understand and so you can see we're asking it just straightforward questions in straightforward language and each time it's coming up so this time i'll let it run through and let's see what it says yes i understand you want to create a script that will keep track of the number of points earned by each team, red and blue in brackets. So it's elaborating, and by those elaborations, we can verify it knows what we're on about. Based on the number of enemy aircraft they shoot down in a multiplayer mission in DCS World. All of that correct. Here's an example of how you can implement this scoring system into a Lua script for DCS. And then it puts it into this thing. You've got a nice copy code button up here. And and so if you're anything like me, you're thinking, all right, well, what the hell do I do with this script? Where do I stick it? Right. I'm sure there's some people saying, I'll tell you where you can stick it. Uh, forgive me for that loud noise outside. Right. So this script sets the initial scores for both teams. Zero. Well, that's right. We're going to start with zero and defines a function called on aircraft destroyed. In other words, when the plane blows up, uh, then something needs to happen. That will be called when an aircraft is destroyed. So it's even telling you exactly what it's doing here. The function checks who destroyed the aircraft and which team it belonged to and then updates the scores accordingly. Well, that is exactly what we need it to do. You can customize the script further to suit your mission requirements. OK, so that's a very interesting thing. But where do I put this, right? Well, just ask it. 
where do I put this uh, script into the mission editor so that it will work? Use this script, you need to follow these steps. And then it tells you what to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I will have done enough there to whet your appetite for DCS World Mission Editing. When it comes to scripting, this thing is incredible. I've had a couple of days messing around with it and you can get as complicated as you like. And the thing continues to generate more and more code. I want you to create a script that checks if a specific aircraft has landed on the aircraft carrier all right sometimes people that's such a common question for dcs how can i check a plane has landed either at all or at a specific base or on the aircraft carrier well here ask ask the chat ai how to do it and it's going to generate you and the thing is in these light gray here you can see it's giving you all these little hints of what is it doing along the way replace group name with the name of the group that you want to check you know every unit has a group i'm sure you know if you see my basic tutorial you'll know what that is and so there replace group name so you've got to change that to whatever i don't know viper group four or whatever you call it replace carrier name with the name of the aircraft carrier in other words this couldn't be easier uh check if any unit in the group has landed on the carrier again group can have up to four aircraft right i'm not going to wait for this and waste everybody's time while it comes up with a script to do this. But you can see in the light gray there, it's actually telling you what each little part of the script is going to do. And then it goes ahead and gives you this script. It even color codes it for you. And again, it's just a case of waiting for it and copying it. Now, if you want to play uh, for this open chat thing, of course, you, you get a, a much faster response time on the regular. I'm certainly uh, not going to do that um I, d I just don't have the money spare to do such a thing but if you are interested of course we're talking about the open ai chat uh knock yourself out and until next time wherever in the world you may be good morning good afternoon good evening and good night take care bye bye